Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the free FSR3 frame generation mod in Lies of P. I'll be using the mod developed by Newcam9. This mod only works on RTX based GPUs. It basically replaces DLSS frame generation with FSR3 frame generation. Now the problem is this game does not support DLSS frame generation. So I'll be using another free mod that is made by Luke FC to add support for frame generation in this game. We'll be using the standard version of Newcam 9's mod, build version 0.81. It was released a couple of days ago. This is its update log. Fixed GPU hangs in certain games with major scenes transitions. For example, Witcher 3. Miscellaneous smaller stability fixes and error checking. Added the ability to rename nvngx.dll to version.dll and some other DLL files to avoid the registry key signature override requirement. Head to the Nexus Mods website to download the latest build of the mod. We'll be downloading the mod standard version. Just click on manual download here under dlssg to fsr3. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Just click on slow download. Now we need to download the free Lies of P frame generation mod by Luke FC. It basically replaces the game's built-in FSR2 implementation with DLSS3, frame generation and reflex. Just click on files here. Then click on manual download under FSR2 streamline. Click on slow download, wait for the download to complete. Luke FC has provided the installation instructions. Then you need to download the latest version of DLSS and DLSS frame generation from these links. Just click on the download bar under latest. This is NVIDIA DLSS DLL file. Then click on the second link. Same thing again, download the latest DLSS the frame generation DLL file from here. First, I'll show you how to install Nucam 9 mod. There's the archive file corresponding to it, extract its contents. Run this registry file, disable nvidia signature checks.reg. You only need to run it once, you don't need to run it again and again whenever you launch a different game. In order to revert the changes, just run restore nvidia signature checks.reg file. Now select and copy these two DLL files. We need to paste them in the game's install directory. I'll be using the game pass version of the game. Select the game from your library, click on the three dots. Click on manage, click on files and click on browse. Open lies of p folder. This is the game's install directory, open content folder. Open lies of p folder. Open binaries folder. Open win gdk folder. If you own the steam version of the game, I think here folder's name should be win64, something like that. Need to paste the files here. Now I'll show you how to install Luke FC's mod. These are the files corresponding to Luke FC's mod. First, extract the contents of FSR2 Streamline archive file. Select and copy all of these files. Paste them in the game's install directory. Right here. Go back. Extract the contents of DLSS and DLSSG archive files. Select and copy the DLL files that we just extracted. Open the game's install directory. You need to paste these DLL files in the Streamline folder, not in the directory where the game's exe file is present. So just open Streamline folder. Paste the files here. Now you need to make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled. Right click anywhere on your desktop and select display settings. Then click on graphics. Click on change default graphics setting. Make sure this toggle is enabled under hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now you need to enable vSync from NVIDIA's control panel. Make sure your GPU drivers are up to date. Click on global settings here, scroll down until you find vertical sync and set it to on. You can apply this setting on a per game basis. Just click on program settings here, then click on add, find the game's exe file. There's slice of P, select it, scroll down until you find vertical sync, set it to on. Click on apply, close it. That's it, we are ready to run the game. Afterburner overlay was causing the game to crash, so I'll just use Windows toolbar to show you the performance metrics. Press the Windows plus G keys together.
just open the in-game settings graphics tab i have set the resolution to full hd my gpu rts 2070 super in-game vsync disabled there's fsr2 just enable it using its quality preset disable dlss i am using the best preset now i need to exit the game Open the games install directory. Head to the directory where the games exe file is present. In this directory, a new file will be present now. fsr2 streamline underscore config dot json. Edit it using notepad. In this file, enable frame generation is set to false by default. Need to change it to true. Click on file, click on save, close. That's it, we are ready to run the game. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. Set FSR 2 to off. We are playing as Pinocchio. This game reminds me of Bloodborne. Art style is similar. Okay, here FPS is around 94 to 100. I'll engage in combat. Took out the evil puppet. 90 to 100 FPS. I'll never frame generation now. First, I'll rest at the stargazer. Enemies will respawn. So, it's like it. FSR to set to quality. You need to restart the game in order to get frame generation working. Reloaded the game. Hey, we're getting around 144 FPS. Maxed out my monitor's refresh rate. Okay, I can see some flickering going on around the game's HUD elements. This is a common issue with this mod, I have seen this happening in other games as well. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart for Hammer 40,000 Dark Tide and Microsoft Flight Simulator. With the official FSR frame generation implementation, developers rendered the game's interface at half the native frame rate of the game in order to prevent its flickering. I hope this annoying issue gets fixed with the future updates of the mod. I'll end the video here guys, I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.